안녕하세요. 전드레시야. 오늘 어떤 이야기 읽어 드릴 거냐면요. Wherever you go. Wherever you go. 라는 이야기 읽어 드릴게요. A famine came to Israel. Elimelech, Naomi, and their sons went to Moab to find food. Elimelech died. The sons married Moabite women, Orpah and Ruth. Then the sons died, too. The three women had no husbands. When the famine in Israel was over, Naomi decided to go home. Stay in Moab, she said to her daughters-in-law. It's your home. Hmm. 어떤 이야 그래서 그세 명이 여자는 남편이 없었대요. Orpa stayed, but Ruth said, "Wherever you go, I will go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God." Together, Ruth and Naomi went back to Israel. Hmm. Hmm. So, 네 하나님은 너 하나님이고 말했어요. 근데 내용이는 엄마랑 집으로 돌아가기로 It was harvest time in Israel. Naomi told Ruth to gather the bits of grain left behind in a field. The field belonged to Boaz, Elimelech's relative. Boaz approached Ruth. Mm. Mm. Huh? <laughs> You were very kind to Naomi, Boaz said. Leaving home must have been hard. May God bless you. He gave Ruth food and told his workers to watch over her. Hmm. This man, this man, got. Hmm. Got something to eat. Ruth told Naomi what happened. Naomi smiled. When someone dies, his closest relative cares for his family. That person is their family redeemer. Boaz is our family redeemer. Stay close to him. What gift did Boaz?
Boaz give to Ruth when he told his workers to watch over her? 2번이자 So Ruth stayed close to Boaz. He liked her more each day. Boaz bought Elimelech's land and took care of Naomi and Ruth. Then he asked Ruth to marry him. 음, 남자애가 여자애에게 결혼을 하자고 말했대요. 아들이 낳았대요. 그래서 둘이 결혼해서. 재밌었나요? 그럼 저 다음번에 재밌는 이야기를 읽어드릴게요. 그럼 안녕!